Hello, this is Roxana for Aviva, and today is day 63 of the 100 day challenge. It is reading Thursday and if you've ever heard the expression reading is fundamental, um, yes, today I'm going to do a read. I'm not so much going to tell you about a book I'm reading, which I'm reading a couple. I am going to tell, I am going to give you a read and it's going to be short and sweet. Today's Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is supposed to be a Mexican holiday, which ironically Mexicans don't celebrate except for one town called Puebla. This comes because on May 5th, a long, long time ago, they beat the French army. And the reason why it's not celebrated in bigger proportions is because the next year the French came and got even. Um, but the thing about it is that we all use it as a great excuse to eat Mexican food and drink like crazy people. Most people think it's a Mexican independence. I'm sorry to disappoint you if I'm not mistaken. Mexican independence is in September, not in May. And the truth of it is that I find it a little ironic, and here's the read, that people that want illegal immigrants, so-called criminal Mexicans, out of this country have the gall to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. And yes, I am talking about a particular presidential candidate who posted a picture of himself eating a taco bowl, which, to be honest with you, I don't know that many authentic Mexican restaurants that serve taco bowls. So, I don't know how authentic that Mexican food was, but I can tell you this. If you want to be any more patronizing than you already are, that's a great way to go. Now, I'm not Mexican, but I am Hispanic. I take offense to most of what the political candidates say and do, mainly because it feels patronizing to me. And, and this goes for both sides. It doesn't have to do with whether they're um, Democrats or... Give me a second because the, my computer just went nuts. Um, it doesn't matter if they're Democrats, Republicans. They all seem to be a little patronizing towards Hispanics. And that bothers me a lot. When I was in college back in the day, and I'm talking late 80s, early 90s, I remember my market, one of my marketing professors saying that the biggest minority in the United States 20 years from back then was going to be Hispanics. And I thought that was the funniest joke I'd ever heard, and I laughed all the way out of the classroom. I thought he was trying to make me feel better. Little did I know that right now some elections are won or lost by the Hispanic vote. So, the reason why I'm doing this read is because I know politicians say tons of things that they don't mean. And even the person that you people think is not a politician, he is better at this game than most politicians because he's a businessman and that's what they do. Um, what I would tell you is don't be patronizing towards your constituents, especially if they're Hispanic. We can smell it a mile away. Uh, just try to fix our problems and don't be focused on if we're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, or whatever. Try to fix the problems that are involved in the middle class who happen to be the ones that are taking the burden of both the low end and the high end because the low end doesn't get taxed enough and neither does the high end. And we're stuck in the middle growing smaller and smaller as a group of people because at this particular point in history, we're getting basically beat down into poverty and a few of us actually go higher but the majority of us go lower. So if you're trying to figure out what I'm trying to say is this. Whether you're a politician or not, don't be patronizing. Don't use Mexicans to drink like an idiot and scream Cinco de Mayo to everybody. Learn how to say Cinco de Mayo. It's Cinco de Mayo, not Mayo. Um, we're not Mayo, we're Mayo. Um, and just, you know, if you already miss, uh, upset a particular community, think what you're going to say and do before you actually look more patronizing than you need to be. Because at the end of the day, these people might make the difference between whether or not you win the election. Um, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. You have a wonderful day.